Good evening. We're going to get into this alcohol thing a little bit hard. We're, we're going strong. Um, that being said, we're going to look at a collaboration between Tail Gunner and 88 Brewing. It is their double decoration mash and the highest hopping rate ever attempted at Tail Gunner. We kept the grain bill simple and anchored this beer with a classic hop blend of Columbus, Centennial and Simcoe added at many points during the brewing process. Enjoy in moderation. Coming in at a very strong 10% alcohol by volume, we have the double, double, triple, exclamation, question mark, Stripes. It's a double de de decoded, double dry hop, triple IPA. It is a beast by the sounds of things. So, Saw this come up when I was doing my dry feb, and I was hoping that it'd still be in stores when I uh, finished my dry feb, and it was. No citra in here, but that's okay. I am getting sort of like a juicy note off of here. Give that a quick stir. Throw you up there. <laughs> yeah, knock that over. All right, we're off to a good start here. All right. So, we have got a very hazy beer. Two fingers worth of head on there. Oof, that looks delicious. The smell, getting a juicy but also bitter smell. Oh, those hops, ooh, mm. My God, it's been a while since I've had a good beer. Okay, okay, we're going in big, we're going in strong. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. That flavor profile is a little muddled, is the best terms I can use. You do have a bitterness, you do have a sweetness, but they're all muddled in there. It is a very medium bodied beer, medium to light body. But the flavor behind it gives it more of a more of a body, more of a punch. The alcohol is very well masked in there. That bitterness on the end is really creeping up on my throat. It's definitely a triple though. Definitely has the qualities of a triple IPA. Like it is. It is a little thicker. It's battling for, it's battling for flavor. I, I would love to see a little bit more of a rounded note, but the way they've thrown the hops in, I mean, you take a look at something like the 60 minute, the 90 minute or 120 minute from Dogwood. Um, is it Dogwood? So it's brewery down the States. Their IPAs, they throw in hops, same hops, every minute on the minute, I think, or every five minutes on the, whatever. And they make it into this great big beast of a beer. This is missing a little something. It's it's missing the punch. It's got everything else in there, but it's missing the punch. I feel there is something a little bit more they could have done with this beer. It's just about at the cusp where it could be really damn good. But one false move and it can turn and make something really bad. When I feel conflicted like this, it's just one of those things where it's it's good, but there's something there that's just 
not giving it that little bit of a oomph that I enjoy. Carbonation is there. The flavor is kind of there, but muted, dialed back, or just conflicting with each other that it kind of cancels itself out. If they threw a different style of hop into it, and did that at intervals as well, but less intervals as the ones that they have in there, that might actually would have pushed it to the perfect balance, maybe? Maybe throw some extra, I don't know, oats in there? Throw a little bit of oats in there to give it a little bit more? Yeah, it's, it's almost there. Like this is a great attempt at something that they've never tried before. And I mean, 10%, I'm drinking this very easily. It's just, yeah, it's a flavor that joins in the tongue and then disappears. Another one that joins in the tongue and then disappears. And then joins in the tongue and just, eh. Yeah, I just need a little bit something else for my palate. Some people would probably like this really a lot. For me, I, it's decent. I'm going to score this 3.5 out of 5. Um, actually, you know what? No. 3.25 out of 5. I wanted something a little bit more. The way the buildup is on the can, it just needed a little bit more. In the glass, it needs a lot more. It needs something else just to give it. I mean, the lacing is decent, but something to thicken it up maybe, or just something else. It just, it's got some potential. Just needs something else to give it a little bit of kick in the can. Again, my opinion. Um, it's good for what it is. I understand the, the, the concept behind it, but I feel that it's missing something big. Missing something just to complete it. It feels a little muddled. Muddled is the best way I can put it. Well, tell me, have you had this one before? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Again, this is the double, double, triple. Uh, stripes from Tail Gunner and 88 Brewing out of Calgary, Alberta. And, uh, yep, both out of Calgary, Alberta. And, uh, yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's decent for what it is. It's a great experiment. It just feels like it needs something else just to give it that little bit extra push to make it really damn good. Just something I don't know what it is. Till next time, I'm Dan, aka the Western Canadian Reviewer, saying cheers, stay frosty. We'll see you real soon, and 10% still going to do me good, I think. We'll see you real soon. Thanks again for joining. Have yourselves a wonderful and safe evening. Cheers.